Hi guys, um, as you can see it's winter again and uh, we've got lots of snow here and what I do in winter is often, um, especially in such conditions where everything is covered in snow and you've got really cold temperatures, what I do I, I put some uh, food out for the birds but I don't put any food out but some specialized food and you can see some here, I put some here, I just uh, put it on the, on the ground and it pretty much looks like cereals. It's basically uh, some fat, nuts and stuff. You can do that stuff for you by yourself. Watch it, I nearly slipped there. Stuff by yourself or you can buy it. I actually buy it because first of all I don't have the time to do it and second I, I got a good friend of mine. He sells that and I got a good price for that. So, And that's how it looks here. I'm just gonna pick it up. I got another pail. Uh, you see it looks like here it's got some peanuts in it and other stuff and uh, birds quite like it uh, I don't know if you can see you can hear them uh, there's some a lot of blackbirds and other smaller birds here you can see some uh, coming to get the food I'm sure you're just gonna you see here I, I, I use that stuff I used this um, this station yesterday uh, I put some food yesterday and I can see here it's all been used up, so I'm just gonna fill it up again. Just to, you know, just simply spread it on the on the ground, and that should do it. You know, it's a nice way to support wildlife. But mind you, I only do it uh, if everything's covered in in snow, or if you got like very cold temperatures like minus 10 or something because those birds lose a lot of energy at night so and it's very hard to get food when everything is covered in snow so um, you know you can help a lot, help a bit uh, help some birds a bit and uh, put some food down mind you pick a pick pick a, a piece of land where uh, you, you don't bother anybody and uh, uh, or or you pick your own property where you can put it, your own garden or whatever. You can see a lot of birds are coming now, and already starting to pick the food. So uh, these are now small birds. I also get a lot of blackbirds, but I think they'll come once I leave. And uh, you don't get the big birds though, like you know uh, crows or or magpies, or hardly ever. Uh, well, what also happens is that you get some birds of prey, which prey on the small birds eating the food. So um, I don't know how to, if that's positive or negative, but you know, it's a feeding station, and I've been doing that like for the last uh, I don't know, 13, 14 years. It's a nice thing. I feel good about it, and and if you're inclined to do so, why not? Just just be sure not to put it on somebody else's property. And have these people complain. I had that a couple of times so that's why I always pick places where nobody lives or my own property like this this is here my own property so you know nobody's gonna bother me here and uh, it doesn't take a lot of time and if you can if you can produce the stuff by yourself I'm sure on the internet you'll find a lot of a lot of uh, links and, and, and resources where you can produce that kind of stuff by on your own but if you can produce it on your own, you got the time, you can save a lot of money and, you know, do something good. But like I said, don't do it like a lot of people, or a lot of shops, especially here in Germany, they sell that stuff from October onwards. And that's too early. You should you should only do it, you know, these are wild animals. They, they should, you know, um, be able to fend for themselves. But, you know, under, uh, you know, difficult conditions like now, everything covered with snow and uh, it's extremely cold so it makes sense to me at least to help these guys a bit and you know um, put some food out all right here's some more birds everybody's coming in and eating so i better finish up here and go so as not to disturb the clients